Hello, hello, this is Ann Tipton from creativelyrich.com uh, coming to you live from the kitchen with no makeup on um, to try something I've never tried before. So a couple of weeks ago, I came across a Tovala, which is a new type of kitchen gadget. And if you know anything about me, you know I love my kitchen gadget gadgets. So um, I went ahead and bought one and we're gonna give it a try live here on the internet. So, um, I got my first meal delivery box um, on Monday, yesterday, um, and so today I'm going to try the miso glazed salmon and see if that's any good. Um, so they come in these little boxes, they're single serving boxes, and um, based on what I've seen online, this packaging is pretty cool. Uh, they do have certified gluten free options, which um, I am personally gluten free, so that's handy dandy for me. So this is a little card that comes with, um, it's probably backwards for you, um, but it's got everything you need to do to prep um, and what it takes and then there's this little scan button where we'll actually scan this on the machine and see how, you know, it'll tell us exactly how long to cook, it'll use the right methods. So the oven itself can actually steam, uh, convection, bake, and broil. So it goes through a cycle um, that's are programmed by their chefs to do the right things at the right time to make your meal turn out perfect, supposedly. So we're gonna see. So within the box, um, it looks like we have some sort of sauce, uh, probably the miso glaze for our miso glaze salmon. Um, we have the cutest little packet of sriracha you ever did see, isn't that cute? Um, a little bit of pickled ginger it looks like, and then some crunchies. So this one comes with uh, brown rice edamame, which has, uh, looks like little black sesame seeds in there, yummo. And um, of course, the little piece of salmon. So, um, you know, a lot of folks are doing takeout right now, and that makes a lot of sense. But for me personally, I'm not a huge fan of takeout. Um, I was in the restaurant industry for a really long time. And um, takeout is just cold food. Like there's just no, <laughs> there's no way around that. Um, so I would really prefer meals cooked at home. Um, and so this is kind of a shortcut for those of us who are busy. And uh, the reason that I picked this over other meal kits is because other meal kits take a lot of work. These promise that the meal will be ready in less than a minute, which is amazing, like less than a minute of prep. And then you scan the thing, you walk away, and their meals take no more than 20 minutes to finish cooking, which is kind of amazing. So in here I have my fresh, beautiful piece of salmon, yummo. Um, I took the little wrapper off that and then we'll take the wrapper off of the doobie here. Uh, the instructions say, remove the plastic, uh, pour the glaze over the salmon. So I'm just gonna take the little perfectly portioned container of miso glaze. We're just gonna dump that right on the salmon there. So we are coated. Um, and that is literally all the prep. That's the whole thing, kind of amazing. So now I'm going to try to walk with this and you over to the oven itself, um, and we are gonna make this thing go. So welcome to my home. Okay, welcome to the kitchen cabinets. All right, so this is the oven. It is super cute, it just looks like a normal toaster oven for the most part. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to push this button here that says scan. And now it is ready to scan. So we'll just take the little doobie. And it beeped. I think it went. Let's see. Okay. So now it's thinking. It's warming up. It knows that this is going to take 13 minutes and 15 seconds. So we will open her up. We're going to remove the tray. Um, and the other neat thing about this um, particular oven is that you can scan a bunch of pre-made foods. It doesn't just have to be their food, including a bunch of like Trader Joe's pre-prepped meals, which is kind of awesome. So in she goes, uh, and we are gonna push the start button down here, and voila, dinner is cooking. So, doesn't get a whole lot easier than that. So, um, I have decided with uh, everything that's going on right now that what I'm going to do um, to kind of do a little piece of my part to try and keep the economy moving and to try and keep 
you know, myself entertained and you entertained <laughs> and um, have a little fun is that I'm going to do a series of videos where I'm just going to recommend the products that I'm using, the products that I'm loving, um, the products that kind of make my life go around because I know that there are a lot of things that I use in my daily life that I don't necessarily tell people unless they ask um, and sometimes you're looking for something or you don't even know you're looking for something like this stupid oven that I would never have purchased um, except I saw a youtuber um, talking about it and I was like I, that's really cool so um, so I went ahead and got one and so I think that that's just a great way to to show gizmos got a lot to say about it apparently uh, it's a great way to show, you know, um, what I love, what I'm using. Um, and so in the next couple of days, I'm going to share, um, just some ideas that I've had. Uh, you know, I've seen a lot of memes going around the internet about like hair dye and, uh, I use an at home hair dyeing service where they actually match the colors specifically for you. And so I'd love to share that information with you guys because I will not be going COVID gray. Like that is not a thing that I will be doing because I use the hair dye that I've used for three years or whatever. And they just bring it to my house and they brought it to my house a couple of days ago. So um, there will be no extra gray on this gal um, before before this is all said and done. So um, yeah, so I figured I'd just uh, chat with y'all until my, my dinner is ready because um, it's only 13 minutes. So um but yeah, I, and so if, if we make any revenue from affiliate uh, commissions, so I'll, I'm gonna keep providing my links for the things that I like. And if I get a little kickback or a little credit from the company, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my own money and I'm going to donate at least half of that to um, help food insecure children in my area. So um, I think that's a nice way to give back. Hopefully it makes the economy move a little bit more than perhaps it would have. Uh, and you know, Feeding kids is something that's always been on my heart. I absolutely hate uh, the idea of children being hungry in this nation where we have so much. So um, it's my plan. So if uh, to to keep providing links as I as I roll out these videos, and if it's something that you would use, if it's something you're interested in, uh, please use my link, and um, we'll make sure that the the money all gets to the right place. So I don't know if these meals are going to be any good. Um, I was as much interested in having the option to heat up uh, pre-prepared foods because we do a lot of like Trader Joe's frozen stuff and we do a lot of like I really like Amy's frozen food uh, you know as somebody who's gluten-free so uh, you know I'm really a nail solution my own wants to know um, I've always done my own um, and they look they look pretty good I think um, I've always uh, but I can certainly do one on my base coat and top coat because I really think that that is the secret. Um, yeah, because my, my manicure generally lasts about a, a solid week in general. Um, and yeah, I just do my own. I push back my cuticles and uh, do a solid base coat, a really pretty polish. Um, I really like Sally Hansen brand um, quick, quick dry stuff. Um, that works out really well. Um, but yeah, I always have my my nails done just about unless something's serious so we just put our house on the market and so um, I literally just did my nails yesterday because um, you know scrubbing baseboards and such doesn't generally bode well for the nails so <laughs> we'll see um, so I'm gonna head back over to the oven here and we'll see how we're doing it looks like we've got about nine minutes left um, and you can, I really like spying on my food while it's cooking um, and so it looks like we need to add some water. Um, so I'm getting an add water message. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that while we're filming here. Um, let me grab a measuring cup. It actually came with a super cute little Tovala branded measuring cup. So we're gonna go ahead. Don't look at how not clean my sink is. Um, we're gonna add some extra water because this is using some steaming technology in here to make this salmon come out perfect so you just open the little lid and again like I'm absolutely learning this machine I've had it for maybe a week and a half probably just before the madness started and then it was like well I guess I'm not gonna get to eat out much anyways so this is gonna be awfully nice to have chef cooked or chef made meals that I don't have to cook myself and you know I'm perfectly capable of cooking Ooh. I think that's enough. Um, perfectly capable of cooking chef quality meals in my own home. But, you know, I work. 
right? Like, <laughs> I've got stuff to do that is not necessarily just cooking all the time. So i um, very, very glad to have what is hopefully a delicious meal working for us here. So we'll see how that goes. So I do have an announcement to make. Um, we actually sold our house. Like we signed, uh, we received an offer and we have agreed to that. So um, very short uh, process and I'm super grateful for that. It was um, on the market for less than 48 hours. So that's amazing. Um, the other thing I wanted to say about um, kind of supporting small businesses and you know, just business in general right now, is if you have a friend who is selling um, a product, like I've got a friend who's uh, a Mary Kay uh, person, and you know, it, she was hit hard by these times as well. Um, and you know, placing an order with your Mary Kay lady or your Avon lady or you know your whatever lip sense or whatever whatever you're into, those sorts of purchases, that kind of keeping the money moving if you're in a fortunate enough position where you're still working and employed and receiving a paycheck um, or your business is still humming and, and you're you know generating revenue that way, uh, do support those people if you can. Um, place those orders, do those things, and um, you know I, I know there's been a lot on the news and I will not get political here uh, about you know the importance of maintaining our economy and I think that we just have to be super smart about how we do that. Um, so if you are, yeah, like I said, fortunate enough to be generating income as a household um, and you are looking to spend some of that, please do it with, with friends, with people you know, with individuals, with small businesses. Um, certainly do some takeout. You know, I said takeout's not my favorite thing. Uh, that won't change, but we're still going to do it during this time just to, you know, support people. Um, and also definitely tip well right? Um, do what you can to, to help out because these people are not uh, receiving the level of income that they're used to receiving regularly. So do what you can to support. And um, so we're going to go back over and see how we're doing. We've got five minutes left. All right, y'all, I'm not this patient. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for now, but um, if you want to see how this turned out and get my review of the miso salmon with uh, brown rice and edamame, I will gladly post a picture over on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's at creatively.rich. Um, you can find me over there and I'm regularly posting lots of content, although um, I think during this time the content focus is going to shift a little bit towards those products that I love and am recommending. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you being here and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.